Hey, it's Mr. Eric. Uh, I've got another project for you today. It's a sculptural project. Uh, we're going to get inspired by Martin Purrier, who is an amazing uh, sculptor and artist. And we're going to use some recycled materials and learn some basic uh, ideas about making connections using cardboard. So, oh, this is what I made. It's this kind of thing here. It's abstract. What you make won't probably look like this. It might look like this. You'll just have to dive in and see. So let's get started. This is the really beautiful and amazing abstract artwork of African-American artist Martin Purrier. Uh, the work is just so fun to look at. And he really utilizes some traditional methods of building. He loves using different kinds of tools and working in traditional methods of fitting things together. Uh, craftsmanship is really important to him, and he really likes the idea of having things look nice and fit together. And in 2011, he won the National Medal of Arts, which is just a way of saying he was celebrated for making beautiful artwork for a really long time. But his artwork is sometimes big, sometimes small, and it really has to do with how it occupies space and how it's constructed and how you look at it. What do you see as you look at the work of Martin Purrier? What parts of it do you like? What questions do you have? So I'm going to get inspired by Martin Purrier, and uh, my challenge is I'm going to use one container and try and make everything out of that one container. So this is raisins, an old raisins box, and I've got, uh, it's thin cardboard, so it's really good because it's not too hard to cut. Scissors, white glue, I'm going to talk about connections in a minute, and I'm going to start going. I'm going to make a base. And then I'm going to build strips that connect that base, kind of like some of the sculptures that Martin Purrier does. So I think I need one really long piece, so I'm going to start like this. The tricky thing about connections is you just have to hold it there for a couple seconds. It, it, it doesn't take as long as you think, and that should hold. Now I'm going to see if I can make pieces go up and around here. Hmm. So making artwork so often is about choices, and every choice you make matters. So I could go like this and build sh shapes out here, or I could go over and build shapes like this. And I think I'll try this one, this shape going this direction here, and you know, you could always make a second piece and go in a different direction. I'm going to see what it's like if I kind of tip this, these pieces out like that.
kind of like that. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll do that, actually. I'm going to put one in the middle. So there you have it. I think I've got my finished piece here. I could do that project again and try a whole bunch of other different things. Um, but I used strips to build one base shape and then other strips to build off of it. So there you have it. Hang in there. Uh, really be patient with the glue connections. If it come lo comes loose, just add more glue. Uh, really pinch it tight for a few minutes. And if you have tape, you can use tape or staples. Uh, just see what works for you and see what kind of overall shape you can come up with. And if you get stuck, go back to the first part of the video and look at the work by Martin Purrier and see how he solved uh, creative problems. Okay, talk to you soon.